Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Kanday, and anytime we're talking about if we look good, whenever I'm in the shot, <laughs> it's already a big fail. Luckily, yeah. you're beautiful. You don't need to look good, just okay. <laughs> First of all, congratulations. We were just reminiscing. I couldn't be at your premiere last night for Bleeding Heart, but congrats. You premiered your movie at Tribeca, and yes. we were just talking about you have two great female stars. You have Zasha Mamet and Jessica Biel, and we are just raving about how great both of them are, and also talking about Zasha and the departure from Girls and how she is in this movie. It's the longest intro ever, but we're going to get into all of that. So yeah. for, talk to me about this movie, because it, it's a story between these, these two sisters, and it's almost like a coming-of-age and one ruining another one's life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, because I think she also sets her free yeah. in a funny way. You know, I mean, the idea for the film, obviously, is two sisters. One's a yoga teacher who's lived an affluent lifestyle all her life, you know, been very privileged. And she meets her biological sister because she was actually adopted as birth, at birth, you know, and she searches for her biological sister and meets her. And her biological sister grew up in foster care homes and is now a sex worker with a very violent boyfriend. Um, for me, the story is kind of though how these two women come together and, you know, let each other grow and become who they truly are. It's fascinating because so many times in life, we as people think we know who we are, yeah. and then circumstances allow us to blossom. What was that? What was <laughs> what was the the impetus behind this story and and writing it? Was it something for personal experience? Yeah. So for me, I worked as a yoga teacher for many years, and so I've really been part of the yoga world. And when I um, I started teaching in Edinburgh, Scotland, and then in, I opened a center in Barcelona, Spain. And uh, in both of those cities, I taught in social welfare centers for prostitutes. And so the women that I encountered in those places, and these, these are like the women who are like the lowest oh, level wow. of sex workers, you know, I mean, they're working on the streets. And um, you know, I was just shocked, like it, the, the level of violence with which they live. I mean, these girls don't come from happy families. None of them do, you know, they don't have support. And, um, and they have a lot of violence in their lives. And we sort of think it's okay because somehow they chose it and that's their life and we don't have to worry about it. But I think this film is about a woman deciding she is going to care and she is going to do something about it. When you look at, and you and I were talking about this earlier, Zasha Mam, and obviously she's on one of the most critically acclaimed and hottest shows in the world, Girls on HBO. And Shoshana, her character on that show, is such a departure from what she's bringing to your movie because we were talking about her comedic timing on girls yeah. is impeccable but this is such a dramatic and thoughtful role talk to me about her bringing that to life well it was fascinating when her name first came up as an idea for being cast in this part i just said no way <laughs> i said i know her like, from girls she's not gonna yeah i'm hard. like there's just no there's no way she could do this role right because i associated you know i knew her from girls and i thought i mean it's the opposite of this and i thought there's just no way she could do this um she sent in an audition tape uh i was in los angeles casting the film and i saw a lot of a lot of actresses for it um and she sent an audition tape from new york and the second that i saw it i was just like she's it i was blown away because she, I mean, she already had the whole character, and it's all these little things. She's just a phenomenal, instinctive actress who just gives you so much every take. And it's just like little looks, little things, like tiny. There's always subtext. There's always things going on below the surface. And I mean, I, I immediately knew she was it. And when we were filming, from the first day when I saw her and Jessica Biel together, I was like, okay, I don't need to worry. I mean, because also their chemistry together was, I mean, I think it's phenomenal. And that's the real star of the movie, is seeing Jessica and Zasha work together. Yeah. Did that happen right away? Did you yeah. see the two of them and you're like, okay, this looks going to work? Yeah, we were like, I mean, I was very lucky that I asked them both to commit to some rehearsal before we um, filmed, you know, because we had a very short shoot. So I just like insist with the actors that I have time to work with them. And from the moment those two got together, there was just like, I mean, they're hilarious together, hilarious to hang out with together, you know, because they just connected and they're just funny. And they just sort of like, I don't know, they brought out really great things in each other. And shooting it was like, although the movie is quite intense and quite dark in places, I mean, shooting it was really like a lot of fun. When you're able to present it at something like the Tribeca Film Festival, that's got to be so exciting. It is. I mean, obviously, you know, when we found out we were going to be premiering here, I was over the moon because I think it's like every filmmaker's fantasy to have a film in New York City at Tribeca Film Festival. Um, so I was totally thrilled. The actual premiere day, I have to say, like, I find it quite excruciating. <laughs> it's so terrifying. You've done so much work and then suddenly it's sort of, I don't know, it's, it, it's pretty terrifying. So now I feel like, OK, we've done it. Now I can relax and just enjoy the rest of it.
When you incorporate so much of your own personal experience into telling this story, is there a therapeutic quality to it? Do you look at it on screen and, and feel a sense of relief seeing it? I think, like, I mean, I know that as a writer, like, I, I definitely go to places that, you know, things in life that I can't really heal or deal with or make sense of are things that I write about. And I try to heal them in the writing, in a sense. And this film definitely, for me, it, I know it's like a fantasy of what I think women should do for each other. You know, it's what we don't do, but what perhaps we really should.